Good morning, South Aiken Juniors. Uh, this is Mr. Fuller coming to talk to you uh, really quickly about March testing. You all, because you are in third year high school, you all have a lot of things that we are putting on you because you're built for it and you're ready to go. Um, the month of March is chock full of things. Um, some of you are going to take the ACT, some of you are going to take the SAT. All of you are going to take the work keys. Um, then also in the end of the year, you're all going to take the um, U.S. History EOC. So you're going to take AP testing. So um, we're kind of in testing season. We want to make sure we introduce you yet to you all. Now, I'm going to go to a PowerPoint and just to explain a little bit of this to you, OK? So here we go. All right. So. Many of you should remember signing this, this sheet right here, uh, when you were in your IGP uh, talking about for next year. You all have to be college and career ready in order to have early dismissal for your senior year. Let me state that again. You are required to be college and career ready, career and college ready for your um, going into your senior year or be on a pathway towards that going into your senior year in order for you to have early dismissal. Now, on this paper to let you know what are the things that you must be, what are the ways that you can qualify for career and or college readiness? It includes the ACT, the SAT, the WIN, which is now the work keys, which is the industry credential certificate, meaning uh, a certificate that you would use when you go to work somewhere, uh, a three or higher on an AP exam, uh, ASVAB, uh, 31 or higher, a CAPE completer, which is the industry certification um, when necessary, and then also dual enrollment, scoring the score there. Again, this was going over you with you when you were through your IGP, uh, and all these things are still available to you. All right, all these things are still available to you, but we're going to sp focus specifically on ACT, SAT, and work keys. But again, these are the criteria: twenty or higher on the SAT, on the ACT, ten twenty or higher on the SAT. SAT has a super score ability, so if you've taken the test more than once, you can combine the highest score you've had in both areas. So please make sure that you are aware of that, and we went over this with you. And just please make sure you pay attention to that in regards to your early dismissal. Now, um, again, ways to achieve um, career and college readiness and early dismissal. So AP exam of score of three higher, ACT score of 20 or better, SAT score of 10, 20 or better, six dual enrollment hours with a C or better. This can be, when you talk about six dual enrollment hours, again, for a college, three is usually one course. So if you take two courses and get a C or better in both, that counts as well. A CTE completer with certification uh, could be a marketing pathway, welding, uh, something at the career center. Then the work key certificate with a silver, gold, or platinum ASVAB score of 31 or better or work based learning program. Though for those of you all saying the ASVAB are 31 or better, 31 or better is what you would need to be uh, uh, considered ready to join the National Guard or Army. But just so you are aware, the ASVAB is not strictly if you're going into the military. The ASVAB is considered the premier career assessment battery, career assessment test. All right. It is not strictly if you're going to the military. The ASVAB score is transferable just about anywhere. So when you get an opportunity to take that, please make sure you take it seriously. It does not mean that you have to go in the military. All right. So now. For SET and ACT pre code you will all attend. You will all attend an assigned pre coding time on February 23rd or 24th in the library. Pre coding students can pick um, to submit scores to up to four colleges and universities for free. I mean, you don't have to pay for it. You take this test. If you've got a, 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 a Hope College, um, a college that you're interested in, a college you know you want to go to. You can send your scores for free to four colleges and universities. So please make sure you take advantage of that. Scores are accepted by all two year and four year US colleges and universities. 
and accepted for numerous scholarship opportunities, including the South Carolina Life and Palmetto Fellow Scholarship Program. So please, once again, when you take the ACT or SAT, once again, take it seriously. All right, you're taking it for free, which is a big deal. So please make sure you take that seriously. All right. So now the SAT will take place on March 2nd. SAT will take place on March 2nd. And again, this is the breakdown. 65 minutes for the reading, 35 minutes for the writing and language, math with no calculator, 25 minutes, and math with a calculator for 55 minutes. All right. So that's for you taking the SAT. Those who are taking the ACT will take it on Tuesday, March 8th. English is 45 minutes. Math is 60 minutes. Reading is 35 minutes. Science is 35 minutes. And writing, if you signed up, is 40 minutes. All right. But we'll go over a whole lot more of the test taking strategies and all of those kinds of things with you all at a later date. Just wanted to give you a brief overview of the formats of each one of those tests. And the work keys. Work keys, just so you all know, is again, a career readiness assessment. If you go to work at Bridgestone, MTU, uh, um, AECOM, um, any of these businesses around here, they're going to more than likely ask you to take the work keys or ask for your work key score. And again, you have an opportunity to take this for free. Four categories, applied math, graphic literacy, workplace documents, and soft skills. All of these things, again, 55 minutes for each portion. And again, silver, gold, or platinum to be considered career ready. So please make sure when you tell the opportunity to take the work keys as well, it's, just, it's not just for us, it's also to benefit you as well. All right? So now, on test day, students will receive a letter in homeroom next week that allows them to get parent permission to sign out after testing is over on their selected day. So if you take the ACT on the ACT day, SAT on the SAT day, work, and all of you will take the work keys on the same day, when you are done, if we have that parent know that ahead of time, you will be able to sign out and go home for the rest of the day. We understand that you will be testing for a couple of hours. So we want to make sure that once that day is over with, uh, if you want, if you have the desire to go home, you can go home. All right. Students will have until their assigned test date to return the letter to the attendance office. So again, we're going to have that uh, that paper prior to you start testing. And then at the work, he's tested on March 23rd. There will be a pizza celebration in the comments for all students who have completed all of their tests. Now, I'm going to buy you food. I know you all like to eat, so I'm going to buy you food on the end at the end of March 23rd for all students who have completed all of their work. He's testing and all of their ACT or SAT testing. OK. Now, you provide an opportunity to attend a test prep workshop on March 1st, which will go over again, test taking strategies, some good reminders, things that will help you out in regards to taking a test. I encourage all of you to go into the ACT and work keys, um, ACT and sorry, SAT um, improvement program through Khan Academy. They have a lot of information there that's available for you on Khan Academy that will just help you, that give you just that slight boost in your scoring. It's free, so I'd encourage you to go into Khan Academy and look at those resources. And then work keys, classroom review of questions with bell rings will begin on February 22nd and conclude on February, on um, March 22nd. So please make sure you take those seriously as well. Once again, this is tied to your early dismissal, so we want to make sure you're taking this seriously. Now, Review your pass for next week. And if you have questions, please see Ms. Colmar in room 109. If you all know where Mr. Howard is, room is where he normally stands, that is room where room 109 is. And you can see Ms. Colmar if you have questions. And please pay attention to this quote. There is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. Okay. There's no easy. There's no shortcut. There's no easy button. It's going to take a little bit of work. But it's good to learn how to put that work and effort in now. All right. And so let me finish that up. All right. So once again, uh, you all should be looking at me. We got the ACT for some of you all, SAT for others, and then the work keys. Please make sure you put the time and effort in those things. All right. It is for your benefit. It's given to you for free. Please take the time to do it well. And if you have questions, please see Ms. Colmar in room 109. All right. 
every thoroughbred, every day, all means all. Have a great day.